inputting data right now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can actually create a program have it running and then allow the user to input data and that data to be stored in a variable right I've actually still got the um, variables program, program up with the adding or multiplying two numbers together kind of thing right so here we are we're going to change a few things here where we've got num1 and num2 become 23 and 54 delete them and we get the command for inputting data from the keyboard is actually read ln or read but we're, we mainly use read ln um, and briefly I'm just going to go over something you know we have write ln we can also have write now the difference is all on case positions the command write will output on the screen any text you want and after the text you see the blinking cursor there say we use the statement um, write it would output the text and then the cursor would be there if you press n if you were to use the command right ln it would be like pressing enter after the text so it's just for positioning text and the same for read ln so what we're going to do is we're going to go read ln open bracket num1 close bracket comma um, colon sorry now what that's doing is the variable num1 is it's going to allow the user to read the data in and then we're going to go read ln num2 colon at the end again and then um, compile it and run it oh and run it there we go and now it's just got a cursor waiting for us to do something I'm going to enter 34 followed by 55 and you see how the cursor moved automatically down as soon as I pressed enter and the multiple of them two is that but I want to just I want to position my text a bit better I'm going to use st the statement right and this time only right on its own not right ln and then in the speech marks I'm going to go enter number one and that colon anything in here like I put a semicolon in there with a space that doesn't actually affect the program in any way at all and then the same with the second one I'm going to do the same thing open enter number two like that as you can see so what it's going to actually do is it's going to output enter num1 um, and then on the same line it, you'll, the flashing case will be there so you can read the input then it'll do the same with the second one so if I compile using alt and f9 and then control and f9 to run bearing in mind it's only because I've got free pascal as I already explained if you've got turbo pascal all you have to do is run it there you go it sees, says enter number one well number one I'm going to have as 12 and then the multiple I can do in my head is 2 2 12s are 24 there we go 24 and here just where it outputs write some on the screen I want to show you a new thing you can do open bracket um, you open speech marks the total is and then I'm just going to put a semicolon with um, a space and then a comma um, and then an end speech mark now put a comma there and this will actually separate right to lane so um, the stuff before is text and the stuff after the comma as you can see is just outputting the variable sum and if you wanted you could put another comma put another variable there if you wanted or you could put more text there if you wanted like that again um, compile and run enter number one 24 25 multiplied by 4 should be 100 100 and as you can see it says the total is 100 and it's put that little thing on the end like I asked it to so that's just some things you can do with reading inputs into a uh, integer and or into any data in fact any variable and also putting them on the screen and different usages of write and write alone